Hello everybody, it's Ordinary Beauty 07, aka Key. I'm an ordinary person, made beautiful from within through Christ. And I am going to do this quick video. I'm in my car right now, and I'm sorry the rear view mirror is dry, uh, it's stopping a little bit of the access view to me, but um, you can see me. And uh, I'm thankful for that uh, and that you can hear me. So I thank God for that because I wanted to come on. There was a young lady that had said part two. And that was uh, in response to a video that I did. And I didn't even realize that I didn't finish the last part of the video. I didn't know it cut off. So anyway, I'm going to skip to it. We're going to just drive and we're going to talk. So uh, what she was referring to was... Uh, how God told me about um, horror movies that I wasn't well I'll put it this way as far as horror movies are concerned I'll step back I was a horror fanatic I loved horror ever since I was young and I'm sorry my little my little cross uh, ornaments hanging down from my mirror too so it's in the way so please forgive all that I'm just trying to get the video done all right so anyway uh, I loved horror movies. Horror was just like the biggest thing for me. I like to look at anything concerning ghosts, uh, aliens, monsters. I even back in the day was okay with watching Exorcist and things like that. What I do know as far as Exorcist, even when I was younger, that did bother my spirit, which I didn't know that's what it was at the time that it was the spirit. Um, but I do know that now. Uh, it was just bothering my spirit from within and so I found it very hard even though I wanted to watch those things to just continue to watch them because I found they bothered me more than they uh, gave that kind of like exciting scare so anyway um, fast forward I was at my studio and there was um, one of our, our front desk workers and she was saying how you know oh she couldn't watch scary movies anymore and she was saying it because we were talking about scary movies and one that I had tried to go watch and she was saying that she couldn't do it anymore and that it bothered her spirit and you know the Holy Spirit had convicted her of that so when she told me I was just kind of like yeah well that didn't happen to me and I'm, I'm happy it didn't happen to me because I like horror movies and I don't know if I remember saying like I'm happy but I just remember saying like hey that, that's not the case for me and I can still watch them so it was all good well what happened was fast forward about a year later I was in the mall and it was a perfect day to watch scary movies because my husband and my sons they were off doing their baseball thing I was by myself I was shopping it was time for me to find out what next to do it was like girl time me time and I thought you know what I'm, I'm just gonna look I have free for all now to go look at the scary movie because my husband's not really into scary movies like that and he just doesn't find them interesting and it my my sons my children were too little to watch them anyway so for me I was like good now I don't have to worry about anybody hindering me from what I want to watch and I can just do whatever I want so basically I picked up my phone I started um, I went to Fandango and I was just like scrolling down so I could see okay what's playing and that particular day almost every horror film <laughs> that you could think of came out I want to say it was probably like four of them in the movie theater I want to say it was about the time Opulence came out and there was some other stuff but it was like horror junkie heaven for lack of better words it was like I was like, oh, I'm finna get it in. I'm about to watch. You know, I might even get in too today. So I went to try to purchase the ticket. But as I start to um, fan down and look at the different movies and I'm getting ready to purchase one, I just felt in my spirit like strongly like, no. And it was like, huh? And I'm like, okay, why? So I'm just questioning like in my mind, like why? Because I really, really want to watch this. Like I really, really want to watch it. But I just felt like it was something God definitely didn't want me to do. And the way he speaks to me, uh, either it's um, kind of like a nag, I call it nagging, and Lord forgive me. It's not, it's just more of a persistent poking. Like, he'll just keep going on and on and on to get my attention. He knows that he has my attention, but it's more like, okay, do it, do it, do it, that kind of thing. 
but um on this particular day it was more like a conviction like i don't like it i felt i was grieving the holy spirit he didn't want me to watch it it's something he did not want me um entertaining so i said well i'll try another movie so i flipped through i, I saw another one and thought well maybe this but that didn't start well with me as well and so this went on and it went on and it went on and I tried to make it work so I remember uh, I want to say that movie was out with um, Charlize um, can't even, Thur Thorn, I think that's her name and um, it was one when she was kind of like uh, I don't know she was by herself in the movie and I'm like well okay maybe that nope. everything I tried was not working so I sat down, I remember being at the um, particular store and I sat down kind of like in the show window just like, okay, well, I really wanted to go to movies, but I'm not feeling this in my spirit. This is bothering me. I really want to go. And now I'm upset because I can't go. And so anyway, needless to say that day, I, I don't remember if I went to the movies, but I know for sure I did not watch a, I did not go see a horror. I didn't have my day of horror movies that day. And then thereafter that, it continued. So I would be able to go, well, I would go to flip on something that I normally would watch, like had no problems watching it, watched it before. And I would just feel this utter conviction, like I don't want to watch that. As if, you know, the Bible does say that we are the temple of the living God. So when God resides within us, whatever we're doing, it's, um, you know, God is there with us. And it, this is happening. And, you know, when we're, our eye gates are open, our ear gates, um, all those things are receiving. Um, so I'm receiving things that are not like God into my spirit, into my being, into my psyche, all that, all that good stuff that God has given me, it's being polluted with, um, the things and the imagery that I would have been seeing and the, and the fear also because scary movies, if you notice after you watch them, and, and I'll say I watched them because there was a thrill of it. You know, it was kind of like getting on a roller coaster. And I don't like roller coasters because they tickle my stomach really, really bad. And I don't like the feeling of it. And I don't like the feeling of my stomach dropping. But as far as horror movies, it's kind of like the jump, the joke. Ooh, ooh. Okay, what's going to happen? Like, it's like that. But after you watch a scary movie, at least for me, I would find that I would have fear connected to me. So even though I watched that earlier, now when I get home, I'm kind of like... I'm more fearful. I'm, I'm more thought conscious of things that wouldn't have bothered me before. Like, oh, I'm about to go downstairs. And then I remember a scene in the movie that bothered me and things like that. So I noticed that that was the reoccurring theme for after I watched scary movies. I will always, always have this fear factor connected to me after that. So what I realized is um, just the revelation of God is that when I'm watching those movies, then there I am allowing a spirit of fear to come in. And when the spirit of fear comes in, he can take hold and um, start that whole process of me fearing whatever. You know, fearing, first it might start with whatever I saw in the movie. But the fear might be an attachment that goes on to me being a fear of doing this and doing that and having a stronghold. And the word of God says, and I apologize I don't have the scripture, but you can Google it. It says, without faith it's impossible to please God. Now, um, okay, so that had nothing to do with what I was saying. Okay, that's my scriptures because you have to have fear, but fear does not come from God. That is what I was trying to say. The word of God, the scripture that I was actually trying to quote was, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So he has not given us the spirit of fear. So where does fear come from? It comes from the enemy and he uses the tools that he can to create fear in our lives and then we hold on to that fear. Now, um, because God hasn't given it to us, he doesn't want us to have it. So it would, it would make sense that the Lord would not want me to watch movies like that because he knew that after I watched them, I would have fear connected to me, which doesn't come from him. And um, plus it's again, opening up my surroundings, my ear gates, my eye gates and all those things to things that are not like him. And that's not what he has for me because I'm his daughter, I'm his child. And um, if you have given your life to Christ, then you are his as well. So uh, that is what he revealed to me. And um, I'll say this, and I'm gonna, cause I want this video to be under 15 minutes if possible. We're at already at nine, about almost 10 minutes. 
so I used to watch ghost hunters and I had a big thing about ghosts and aliens and that'll be another video in itself because I've had experiences with things like that and I so I wanted to watch ghost hunters all day long I watch ghost hunters ghost this ghost that if it was a reality show about it I wanted to watch it because I had experience with those kind of things happening to me so I wanted to know it was kind of like my seeking my searching and I think that's where the horror movie stuff came in too as a young, at a young age because I was experiencing those kind of things as a child as well. But either way, um, one particular night, and this was, um, and I want to say it was before the horror movies, but I'm not really sure, like the conviction of the horror movies, and I don't want to lie about it, but I will say this. Um, I think it was my ghost story had came on, and I was watching it, and the lady was talking about something about pulling into her driveway or something it was very like simple nothing big she was just talking about pulling in her driveway and so either she saw a spirit felt the spirit i don't remember but what i do remember was i was laying in my bed and um i felt a sense of a presence come out of the tv and it was standing in front of my tv just there and it wasn't a good it wasn't a good spirit either it was there to it was a fear spirit like really really deep it was there to cause fear and it did not like me it hated me um i knew where it was i could tell that it was to the left side of the tv i could sense the presence so strong it was in my sense was it wanted to walk toward me but it couldn't i immediately started pleading the blood of jesus against it i started rebuking it and telling it to leave and it took it took maybe maybe about five times me saying these things for it to go away. And then I realized because what I was watching, it allowed it was almost like God showing me when you do this, this is what happens. You invite them in. So I, I turned it off and I haven't worked <laughs> I have not watched uh my ghost story, a uh, house, a uh, uh, ghost hunters, uh, none of that paranoia, paranormal, um whatever all that stuff i used to watch day in day out day in day out day in day out that was pretty much all i watched i searched it out i seeked it out my family could tell you that's what i was just like i was gone and thank god for the holy spirit and his revelation that he'll show us things that are not good for us and, then, and at the end of the day it's just up to us to listen i believe that god speaks to most people if not all people all the time but do we listen do we think that it's something else do we say that was just me do we um say it was a coincidence i mean everybody's different everybody's awareness or um as far as openness to things are different mine's is a bit more open because i've seen things with my own eyes through my family i've seen uh, miracles happen right before my very eyes miracles happen to me um those who do not know i've been experiencing jesus since i was about six years old and that was just an experience that i had i'm sorry y'all for this camera shaking but i'm driving so my phone is up here connected to my windshield but i've had these experiences ever since i was a little little girl and i didn't know what to do with them but now i do know um and i've had things revealed to me and uh that um I, some things that I don't want to say, I don't feel led to say right now, but I do know that there are gifts of the spirit that I do have and that God is working with me with them for the kingdom and it's for his purpose. It's not for my purpose. It's to be a help to the body of Christ. It's to help others. And um, God is entrusting me with some things right now and um, he's preparing me so that I know and I can trust in him. Um, when he's telling me in different ways because there's new ways he's revealing things to me now and it's so exciting like it's so exciting oh my gosh so anyway we're at 14 14 and i'm gonna stop the video i hope the lady that asked for part two i hope that this helps you out if you have any questions just let me know uh, my name is key i uh, thank you guys for watching i hope this blessed somebody today i'll see you guys later bye bye